Hey, what's up everyone? It's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2 and welcome back to your MySQL tutorial series. This video we are going to start our discussion on first normal form. Now first normal form is our first layer of normalization. It gets rid of the most obvious, most simple mistakes in our database design. And first normal form really focuses on things being atomic or singularity. If you want to make sure your database adheres to first normal form, you want to make sure that every single column in a table is single. So if we have, uh, let's say, we'll go off of this example we've been working on, an auctioning site. So this site people can sign up for and they can put items on there and sell them and make some money. And on this website, let's say you can put your social network links on there. So you can link to your Facebooks and your Twitters and your MySpaces and your LinkedIns and your Twitters, oh I already said that, and your YouTubes and your Google Pluses and your other social networks. So how would we set this up? Let's say we have a users table and we'll add some columns. We'll say user ID, email. Now this is where the first example of singularity comes in. Each column describes only one thing, an email. We don't have email and social networks. We split that out. In addition to that, we want our column headers to be singular. So we could have in here, I'm going to break the rules and say social networks with an S. This is breaking the rules because this implies that you're allowed to put multiple social networks in one row, which you're not. That's also breaking the rules of singularity. So each column has to describe one thing and it has to describe only one of that one thing. <laughs> So one email. In this situation, how would you put data in here? Well, you might have a user ID of let's say 10, an email, and then you could put your social network links on here. So you could say, you know, Facebook, comma, Twitter. But this is not single because we have two values for that column, which is breaking first normal form. Now that we broke the rules, how do we go about fixing it? There's two ways we can fix this. The first one is in the column header. Don't make it plural. When we do that, we would imply that we only want one value. The downside to that is that you can only have one value. So we'd say our Facebook. So you could have your Facebook link and you're limited to just one value in that column. If you wanted to try to put two, you'd have to figure out another workaround such as adding a row. But the downside here is that we have this email repeating and we have a primary key repeating, which is not okay. So this too is not going to work. So how do we fix this the other way? How do we allow us to be in first normal form, but also allow multiple social networks? The only possible way is to add a table. So we could have a, another table up here and we can name it networks. Now it's gonna have a couple columns. We could say ID, so each row is gonna get an ID, and we could say user ID and then network. So now each network is going to get an ID, so we could say one, and then we could have the user ID of 10, and this is a reference. So this will be a foreign key to this column right here. And then we'll add the network in there. Obviously we would put the whole link to their Facebook, but that's fine for right now. Now that we have this, we can alter the original table. We actually don't even need this social networks column anymore. And we don't need this row because that's redundant information and it's not allowed. So the final result is just going to be a user ID and email. And then any other data that's related to the user goes in here any data related to the network would go in here. This is essentially making a one-to-many relationship. And you can go back and watch that video about uh, one-to-many relationships, but essentially this is going to have a foreign key, the user ID, and the parent is not even going to have anything referencing back to the children in the main table. So the users doesn't even need to know about the networks. Now this column here, you could potentially get away without having it, because you could have this as the combination for the primary key. But in this situation, I think this way makes a little bit more sense. And um, that's how I'm gonna go for that one for now. <laughs> the last thing with first normal form is that every column needs to describe the entity. So in this situation, we have a user table. So that means we couldn't have a column over here like listing details. That's because this doesn't even describe the user. So everything inside of first normal form you could summarize it as every column describes the key, the user ID in this situation. And every column describes it singularly. So each column is individual and there is no repeating rows. So if you make everything singular, I'm sure you will do just fine with first normal form. Now you might be asking, what about this here? Users. 
That's plural. Well, that's because it's a table for users, but each row describes only one user. You can't store two users in one row. So yeah, guys, that's first normal form. Hopefully that was helpful. If you like this video, click like, and as always, be sure to subscribe because that really, really helps me out and I appreciate it. So be sure to watch the next video and I will see you then.